Assalamu alaikum hello everybody it's Injila Shafat and I welcome you back to my channel hope you're all doing good sorry for being not present here for a long time because of some busy schedules so let's continue the topic ct scan today and our lecture today will be based on generations of ct scan as we have already discussed about the basics of ct scan in our recent lecture so moving forward with the generations of ct scan generations means developments uh, the advancement in the ct scan that we have made so in total there are seven generations of ct scan we will be discussing them one by one starting with the first generation ct scanner which is also known as emi ct scanner means electric and musical industry ct scanner because it was developed by the electric and musical industry in 1970s this uh, scanner was particularly uh, dedicated only for head scanning of patient means only the patient's head can be examined can be scanned in the ct scanner now let's talk about the radiation detector so here two radiation detectors are being used that are made from sodium iodide and the x-ray tube is there both the detectors and x-ray tube rotate around the patient so we call the their motion as translate rotate motion if we talk about the x-ray beam it's a collimated down to a narrow pencil width beam of x-rays so here the size of the beam uh, was 3 mm within the plane of slice and 1.3 uh, mm width perpendicular to the slice you can check out the image here uh, the rotation is 180 degree translation with 1 degree rotation between the translators so total uh, we can get the five images in the ct scanner and each image takes 5 minutes means the scanning time for one image is 5 minutes so it means for five images it will be 25 to 30 minutes and in one translation one single image is being projected check out the image this is the one uh, translation means one rotation means one image be is being created now this is the second one now the third fourth fifth so total there are five images being created now this emi ct scanner means first generation ct scanner here the patient's head is being put into the rubber membrane into a water filled box check out the image you can uh, check how the patient's head is being put into the water filled box this device was designed such that the water filled box rotate along with the single narrow beam with two detector assembly now the disadvantages of the first generation ct scanner firstly the scan time is very low because approximately it takes 25 to 30 minutes for the whole ct scanner scanning next single image scanning takes 4 to 5 minutes and it has a very poor spatial resolution moving forward with the second generation of ct scan so a step towards reducing scan time was taken with the introduction of second generation ct scanner in late 1974 so the first waterless full body ct scanner was developed and installed by uh, ledley et al at georgia town university in feb 1974 In the CT scanner multiple narrow beams and multiple detectors were used so approximately 5 to 30 multiple detectors were used in this CT scanner plus the rotation of the tube x-ray tubes and the detector was translate rotate motion it means both the x-ray tubes and the detectors rotated around the patient scanning time was 10 to 90 seconds Now the disadvantages of the second generation CT scanner. Firstly, the scatter radiations increase due to the narrow fan beam used in the second generation CT scanner. Next that there were severe artifacts being uh, seen in the image because of the translation motion. As the translation and rotation needed to be performed quickly precisely while moving heavy x-ray tubes and associated gantries and electronics all without causing significant variations even a small variation or deviation of the scanner hardware position uh, related to the reconstruction matrix or voxels would cause data to be back projected to the wrong voxels creating severe artifacts in the image 
So this mechanical tolerance and complexities involved indicated the need to eliminate the translation motion. So here the translation motion was the main drawback in the second generation CT scanner. Now the third generation CT scanner which was developed in 1975 by General Electrical Company. In this generation, scanners uh, needed to be faster and they need to require the elimination of translation motion so that uh, there will be the use of smoother and simpler pure rotational motion. For that, a widening X-ray beam came into existence and wide fan beam was used as a source of X-ray in this generation CT scanner. In this generation CT scanners, detector errors are rigidly linked with the X-ray tube so that both the X-ray tube and the detectors rotate around the patient. So here the motion is referred to as rotation rotation means uh, X-ray tube rotates according to the detector means both rotate together around the patient. So the hundreds of radiation detector errors were used in this uh, CT scanner approximately 270 to 700 and the rotation here was 360 degree as compared to first generation CT scanner and second generation CT scanner where the rotation motion was 180 degrees. Now here in, in one rotation means in one 360 degree rotation hundreds of image projections were acquired. And if we talk about the scanning time, scanning time was one second or less. Disadvantage of the third generation CT scanner. First is ring artifact. As detectors are in ring like fashion uh, attached with the X-ray tube. So if one of the detector is out of calibration or in a third generation CT scanner, the detectors will give constantly RNS readings at each angular position resulting in a circular artifact which is known as ring artifact. Second, it has high cost and uh, low efficiency. Third, more scattered radiations are there due to wide angle fan beam. Fourth generation CT scanner. So this generation was developed principally to suppress the ring artifact which was in third generation CT scanner creating an artifact. So this fourth generation CT scanner was developed in 1976 with the stationary ring of detectors means uh, here the detectors were stationary they didn't move like in rest of the generation CT scanners. Here only the X-ray tube rotated uh, around the patient so the motion here is rotate stationary because uh, rotate here is uh, X-ray tube and stationary here is detectors. Here thousands of individual detectors were used, approximately 2000 uh, detectors are used in this uh, fourth generation CT scanner. Here the fan beam passes through each detector and image projection is acquired. So imaging time is one second or less. Here also the rotation is 360 degrees. Disadvantage of the fourth generation CT scanner. First is large ring diameter. As we know that the X-ray tube rotated inside the detector ring and detector didn't rotate. So a large ring diameter approximately 170 to 180 centimeter was needed to maintain acceptable tube skin distance which was not here in 4th generation CT scanner. So this remained the drawback and next was high cost and high radiation uh, in this uh, CT scanner. Third one was more scattered radiations due to a wide angle fan beam. Now the fifth generation CT scanner which is developed in 1980s and it is the fast imaging CT scanner uh, which is also known as EBCT known as electron beam CT scanner or we can call it as a CNA CT scanner because it's specially for cardiac tomographic imaging means only heart can be imaged with the help of this CT scanner. We call it uh, EBCT because uh, here the X-ray source is not X-ray tube but rather it's a focused microwave accelerated electron beam that's incident on tungsten target. You can check out the image here. The target covers one half of the imaging circle and the detector error covers the other half. Scan time is less than 100 milliseconds and 17 slices are being uh, projected in one second. Disadvantage of the fifth generation CT scanner. First, it's bulky. Next, it has high equipment cost. Last one is complex circuitry. 
sixth generation CT scanner, which is also known as slip ring or we can call it helical CT scanner, which was developed in 1990s. So it has got multiple detectors, approximately 1,49,600 detectors and uh, it has got continuous gantry rotation, continuous tube rotation and scan time is 0 0.03 milliseconds. Here the dual x-ray tube is being used. If we talk about here the slip ring, it allows gantry to rotate continuously through all the patient's lives, therefore creating shorter scan times. As compared to the previous generation detectors, the gantry had to be stopped after every slice so that data echostation could not be continuous process. Likewise, for image echostation, it's uh, crucial that the energy being constantly supplied to the X-ray tube and the detectors. Therefore, in order to have um, continuous access to the energy source, the X-ray tube and the detectors were connected to an electrical source via uh, wires and had to be stationary. So, this problem was solved when slip ring technology was introduced in the field of medical imaging. Disadvantages of the 6th generation CT scanner. So, first is more processing time, next expensive and last one is tube heating increased. Now, discussing the last generation of CT scanner, that's the 7th one known as 7th generation multiple detector era, which is the uh, most recent generation of CT scanner, uh, which is developed in 1998. It has got multiple detector eras and it has got cone shaped X-ray. Unlike the pencil beam and fan beam, the cone beam does not pass through the narrow collimator. Therefore, the intensity of the initial X-ray beam is not as strongly, uh, as strongly reduced and hence can interact more efficiently and effectively with the detector error. The detector errors used it were 64 to 128 in number and the time scan was 0.25 seconds. So, this was all about today's topic. Thank you for watching. Take care.